Disaster Management A disaster is defined as a disruption on a massive scale, either natural or man-made, occurring in short or long periods. Disasters can lead to human, material, economic or environmental hardships, which can be beyond the bearable capacity of the affected society. As per statistics, India as a whole is vulnerable to 30 different types of disasters that will affect the economic, social and human development potential to such an extent that it will have long-term effects on productivity and macroeconomic performance. Type of disasters Water and climate disaster Flood Hail storms, cloudburst cyclones, heat waves, cold waves, droughts, hurricanes. Geological disaster, landslides, earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, tornadoes. Biological disaster, viral epidemics, pest attacks, cattle epidemic, and locust plagues. Industrial disaster, chemical and industrial accidents, mine shaft fires, oil spills. Nuclear disasters, nuclear core meltdowns, radiation poisoning. Man-made disasters, urban and forest fires, oil spill, the collapse of huge building structures. There are two types of disasters namely natural disasters and man-made disasters. For example, fire, accidents, road, rail or air, industrial accidents or epidemics are some of the examples of man-made disasters, both natural and man-made disasters which have devastating input resulting loss of human life, loss of livelihoods, property and environmental degradation disasters disrupts normal functioning of society and leave long lasting impact earthquake cyclone flood and drought are examples of natural disasters natural disasters Certain disasters occur in nature, without human provocation. They are Floods Floods are sudden and temporary inundation of a large area as an overflowing of rivers or reservoirs. Floods are caused by rains, high winds, cyclones, tsunami, melting snow or dam burst. Flood can happen gradually or can happen suddenly due to heavy rains, breach of the water storage and control structures, spillover, saltation of the rivers and reservoirs, and this can enhance the incidence and magnitude of floods. Effects Casualties Human and livestock death due to drowning, serious injuries and outbreak of epidemics. Like diarrhea, cholera, jaundice or viral infections are common problems faced in flood. Affected areas. Even wells, other source of drinking water gets submerged resulting in acute. Shortage of safe drinking water during floods. Consequently often people are forced to drink the contaminated flood water, which may cause serious diseases. Structural damage During floods mud huts and buildings built on weak foundations collapse endangering 
human lives and property. Damage may also be caused to roads, rail, dams, monuments, crops and cattle. Floods may uproot trees and may cause landslides and soil erosion. Material loss. Household articles including eatables, electronic goods, beds, clothes, furniture get submerged in water and get spoilt all materials mounted on ground e.g. food stock, equipment, vehicles, livestock, machinery, salt pan and fishing boats can be submerged and spoilt. Utilities damage. Utilities such as water supply, sewerage, communication lines, power lines, transportation. Network and railways are put at risk. Crop loss. Apart from the loss of human and cattle life, floods cause severe devastation of standing. Agricultural crops. Floods water spoils the stored food grains or harvested crop. Flood control. Flood control can be achieved through various means. The flood water can be reduced by reducing the runoff water through a forestation. Forests promote rainwater percolation in the ground, thus recharging the groundwater and reducing the runoff water. Construction of dams also reduces flood water through storage. Dams can store water, which cannot be accommodated in the river downstream may cause floods. Water can be released in a controlled manner from the dam. Management. The flood damage can be considerable reduced and loss of human lives can prevent it through proper planning of flood control and management measures. Identification of flood prone areas. Flood forecasting. Land use planning.